get set up, you have to install the Western Digital app, which I like to label as spam, but it is useful. So there's WD Drive Utilities, you just fire that one up. And inside you'll have to read a terms and conditions and you know, it will connect to Western Digital to let them know that you're using their apps, dodgy dodgy. Anyway, you get to do diagnostics here, quick dive tests, smart status, what you wanna go into is something called RAID management. Now here, you can specify if you want to run it striped, which means using both drives at the same time, giving you the maximum storage space, or mirrored, which means it will store your files twice, one on each drive. Kind of safer and all that kind of stuff, although if you read the latest news about these kind of drives, sometimes the chips inside them break and your files are unrecoverable, so watch out for the latest BIOS updates to ensure you're safe. Anyway, you give it a name, and you'll have to format your drive. Hit configure and it will format your drive, set up the new configuration for it. Once that's done, best practice is, in my estimation, is to encrypt your drives on Macs. It's super simple. You just right click in Finder and click encrypt, give it a password and, you know, remember the password. And then enjoy the super, super uh, well, slow speeds. I think what most people do nowadays is actually use these drives as a cheap solution to get hard drives. So I've actually taken the drives out of this uh, WD MyBook Duo. Back when I was a poor person looking for drives, I'd get these guys on Amazon for cheap. And I've got nice drives I can plug into my NAS drive. Of course, in this video, I'm using a really slow Synology NAS. I recommend maybe a QNAP. But yeah, hope you found this video useful and enjoyed the amazing WD my book duo, my book duo for me and for you. Hope you All right guys, it's the my book duo, which actually means mm -hmm. it's not one hard drive, it's two hard drives in one. All that means is rather than just having all your files in one place, yeah. there's actually two places okay. where the files can be. Yeah. So in one solution, you can run it as a 12 terabyte drive mm -hmm. or you can run it as a six terabyte drive. What that means is it introduces redundancy. So whenever you save a file, it will save it on this disk and it will save it on that disk. So it's almost double backed up. So if one of the hard drive crashes, okay. you've got redundancy, you've got a backup in the other drive. Got you. And it does this seamlessly. Wow. That's why it's good for your photos, videos, and everything like that. There we go. Ooh, it's quite heavy. And I think there might be something in here as well. So there's two components. I have to say, um, this actually is quite heavy. Like, I would say it's probably about five kilograms, maybe. It's, it's not something that you take traveling with you, it's more for a home storage solution. So you just keep it on your, your desk at, at home? Yeah, correct. Oh, okay, yeah, it's, it is quite heavy. Now, as you was asking, yeah, I, can I, you actually see the hard drives? It flips open. Oh, wow. And you have the cages for the hard drives themselves. So you can literally take out these drives and replace them with your own if you feel like it. No way! Yeah, and this guy's a standard USB free cable which plugs into your computer and allows you access. There we go, it's in! And what's cool is it comes with two extra USB cables. Okay. So you can plug in replacement USB devices so it doesn't just take up the port that it uses. What do you mean by that? It comes with two USB ports, so it extends the number of USB ports that you currently have on your computer. As it will take one, but give you two. I still don't understand that. Plug it in. And then there's also this as well, I'm not sure what this is for. Well this one, because it came from the EU, they manufactured this to UK specification, but they do have an extension where you can change the socket from a UK plug into an EU plug. Congratulations on your purchase.